9 o'clock all the way to our 3 o'clock. It really won't matter where he positions, we can use the same, the same disarm, as long as the weapon is aimed high and from the front, so that's the first disarm that we teach. So you can tell I'm getting offline, I'm going to have him say bang, as I move offline you can see where I'm at. Bang! Okay, we'll do it again, he goes right. Bang! He still wasn't ready. Bang! Alright, so as you can see, in the first unit of motion time, I'm getting offline really easy. The things that I'm doing, if we change camera angle a little bit, you can see from behind, in the first unit of motion time as he's aiming, I'm dropping quickly with my body. I'm assuming the gun will go off. Bang! As I do that, one hand is coming up to hit the weapon his way. What's the safest direction to aim the weapon? Him. Always him. And then this one's trapping through here. That's the first unit of motion time. You have to get offline of the weapon and secure the weapon aiming in the safe direction. From there, if we demonstrate the whole technique, we'll have a strip. Bang! Right through here. I'll go slow motion so you can see it. Once we get here, there's a big bind on his wrist. I start to rip that out and make sure I win. I fire a kick through his groin and I put this into his parietal. From there, I see if the weapon is operational and I get ready to go heal with someone else. Okay, so, demonstrating it again. Once again, in phases. Phase one, Bang. off line of the weapon. You're here. Phase two from there is where you strip it and you use the weapon back on it. So, he can actually, just for your demonstration, if you're seeing it, he can actually come around me anywhere on this clock. I can use anywhere in the frontal plane. He can be off to my side. I still duck the same. He goes to the other side now. I'm not having to change, not having to change my mechanics. The reason we like to use the same, the reason we like to use the same muscular pattern every time is because you don't want to have to think when a gun gets put in your face. It's a high pressure situation. If you have a lot to think about, I don't know if it's the right hand technique or the left hand technique, it's a good way to get shot in the face. If you get shot in the face in the beginning of your technique, it's going to make the rest of it really, really difficult. So, that's, this is our first disarm, once, once more demonstrating it fast, he's aiming. 